Hello everyone, Mimikins here. Capcom have just added Xeno Gamma armor to the game, so I've decided to update my HPG cluster bomb builds to see what new options the gear brings. Please note that cluster bombs are best used in single player and coordinating multiplayer groups, as the clusters knock back other players. Cluster bombing is a bit of an RNG cheesy build, and you will need to be crafting a lot of ammo on the go, but I know there are people out there who love to cluster bomb monsters to death. Make sure you bring materials to craft more cluster ammo and a far caster in case you need to go back to restock. That's the downside of RNG builds. Sometimes they work great, other times they can be a little frustrating since you need to make additional trips back to camp. The top two guns for cluster bombing are Devil Joe's Dark Devourer, which deals the most damage, and Zora Magda's Gemitus, which offers more utility in the form of paralysis ammo and an extra level 2 slot. Gun mods don't do anything for cluster ammo 3, at least on these two guns, so pick your mods depending on what other ammo you want to boost. Shield is nice for some safety in between shots, however the shield does not work when your character is crouching, so you'll need to stand up to make use of it. Also the shield block on roars takes priority over the rock steady mantle, which can slow DPS at times. Close range up enhances your wyvern ammo and other close range shots or recoil suppressors to speed up firing sticky ammo. I'm going to start off by showing you my old cluster bomb set, as I think it's both helpful for PC players if you don't have access to AT Xeno yet and also as a comparison to see how the new armours have changed my build. This is what I predominantly used before, sometimes I would change a few jewels here and there when I felt I needed extra utility skills. Artillery boosts wyvern and sticky ammo, it has no effect on clusters, but since I like to use those ammos to complement the cluster bombing, it was worth it for me to add in. Wyvern ammo to wake up a monster can do a lot of damage, and sticky ammo if you aim it at the head deals KO damage so you can stun monsters allowing you to set up some good openings for cluster bombs. Of course, there are fights where you may not use these ammos at all because cluster bombs are enough and you could switch them out for utility or other skills if you prefer. Let's have a look at my updated builds. There is more flexibility in the build that's for sure and managed to switch in some nice quality of life adjustments while not sacrificing on the main damage skills. I've got two extra utility slots which add flexibility Health is nice for more survivability and wee wee when monsters are hitting through the rock steady mantle. It's a nice safety net especially for tougher monsters. Another nice option is Bombardier for making sleep wyvern ammo carry an extra punch with increased barrel bomb damage. This is nice for multiplayer because the extra damage is from whoever detonates the bomb, which HPG can do very nicely with wyvern ammo. I've managed to increase Slugger to level 2 which helps keep the monster on its side so I get more cluster bombs off while it wonders what the hell is going on. It's possible to reach Slugger level 3 by changing the charm to a KO charm 3, but then you're going to need 7 attack jewels to keep the attack up. Good luck on that one. Unfortunately this build does already have 4 attack jewels and there's no real way to work around it as a lot of attack giving armour is quite outdated and lacks slots. If you do want to squeeze an extra attack, the best option is Dobermail Beta, but it offers less skill options compared with the Impress. Otherwise, I suggest you find some nice utility skills which enhance your quality of life and not stress about losing a few points of damage. The reality of it is that you may have to fire off one or two extra cluster bombs per fight. I also made a build with Agitator which deals very nice damage when the buff is active. However, it's not off all the time, only when the monster in enrages and although I'm happy with the damage increase during this time, I couldn't help feeling that the extra utility skill of Slugger increasing the amount of stun applied helped for more reliable knockdowns and overall smoother fight, especially for those new to cluster bombing and harder fights. I do love this build for the big numbers and it's also better if you lack free element ammo up skills since you can get level 3 from the armour. For fights you feel confident in, this is the build to use. If I ever get my hands on 7 attack jewels, switching out artillery for attack and changing charm to agitator would be a very beastly building indeed. Both builds are very good, 
the new Xeno Gamma armor has allowed for the addition of extra skills to an already powerful build. While the armors on their own don't have great skills for cluster bombing, the combined set along with other armor pieces makes the build much more potent. Sadly, it is still dependent on having multiple attack tools, which not everyone has access to. Perhaps with the addition of AT or Gigante, it might open up new build options that are more viable while capping attack. I haven't seen a date yet listed for AT or Gigante, but all the other ATs are available during the Winter Starfest running from the 30th of November till the 17th of December for console players. I have guides on all the ATs on YouTube, so feel free to check them out. Happy hunting and have fun blowing things up! Please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.